Okay, welcome to my house again and to my gong again to say we're ready. We're ready. So pick up your pen and paper, please. Uh, I changed topics this morning, so um, I might stumble a little bit, but I know you'll understand. I read a Facebook message that my daughter Shivan had forwarded, and it said, I promise to teach my babies to love your babies, period. And at the bottom were seven victorious hands of all colors making the promise. Um, so this, this what I've written now, is put together in three hours, so there may be a lot of things I missed, but that's why you're the writers. You pick up on it and you write about it. You run with it yourself. I realized it's so important to talk and write about love, especially in this COVID and its many and love in its many forms. So you may think it's been written about so many times that there's nothing left to say. Well, that's wrong. That's wrong. Um, this is your love for people, ideas or actions. And the words are created from your heart and mind and thoughts and memories. So they belong, remember, only to you. These are things that live in your heart because of love. So I want you to close your eyes. I won't, but you will, hopefully. And think about it as I, as I read these off and let your thoughts roll. You can open your eyes to jot down a word or a thought or a memory as we go along and then after I want you to expand on them. So, the love of God or any religious being. There's questions and answers uh, that you've always had about your beliefs. Write them down. Expand them. Then there's the love of spouse. I hope it's a gift but it may have had its share of hell. Think of everything you can about that person. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous to say because there's so much to think about, but think about what you can. Uh, moments that, that made it what it was or make it what it is. And now pick up one moment in time, uh, whichever comes to mind first. Jot down that word or idea or thought and then write about it. Love children. It is probably the deepest, all-consuming love you could ever give a, ch a person and you would give your life for in a second. Think of one moment in time with a child, good or not so good, whichever comes to mind first, write it. Love of family. We can't choose family, but we can love them deeply or not. Every family has stories that live with you each step of the way. Then you have the friends who you embrace as a family. There are so many people and so many stories. Pick one. Write it. Love of friends. We embrace and are embraced by friends along life's way. And we cherish them and the love surrounding them. Which one comes to mind first? Why? What's the story? Jot down the words you think of. Write it. Love of creative hobbies. Painting, crafting, building, writing, dancing, uh, sewing, any hobby that's a special kind of love for you. What, when, and why? Write it. The love of animals. What is the type of animal and moment in time you think of first? Why? Write it down. The love of food. My love. Whether cooking, eating around the home table, or going to a restaurant, or a food that reminds you of what your mother or grandmother or auntie used to make, uh, or being obsessed with foods or diets, think about a moment that sticks in your mind. Why did you love what you loved, or still love? Write it. My friend and I love chocolate, and we believe that it's going to be a cure for some kind of major disease. And we're ahead of the game. Love of memories. Oh my goodness. We create memories and are reminded of memories every day. They nourish our hearts, our minds, and our souls. They are precious and come from everywhere and everything around us. Every day we bring memories to mind. 
Which are you thinking of at this moment? Tell it on paper. Which brings me to the next step of this lesson. Those on Facebook already know the expanded version of this, but the condensed version, still with a heart full of love and appreciation, is this. Getting dressed the other day, every single thing I put on uh, was given to me by a friend or family, and it had a memory. And it was wonderful. So my soft house coat reminded me of my daughter, Shivan. I love this house coat. And my underwear. I'm not showing it to you, but my weekend escape friends, Bev, Paula, Janice, and Terrell, it reminds me of them because they said uh, underwear is the last thing that a woman buys for herself. She buys it for everybody else. My sparkly jeans remind me of my friend Linda. And, and they, are, they are here, if you could see them. And um, my shirt. My niece, Kim, and my three other sisters. Very precious to me. Uh, my socks, marriage encounter, and my friend Annie. And my North Pole slippers, my friend Darlene. Can you see them? My silver engraved Frank cross necklace. My friend Troy. And he is very artistic. Uh, my gold necklace is from my friend Louise and my... Victim Services Advocates from years ago. My fancy paper rolled necklace, that's all paper, is my grandsons Bryden, Everett, and Lucas. My wild earrings, that don't match, but I don't care, they're my friend Carol. My petrified wood bracelet, my friend Jan. Uh, my watch, my friend George, who was my boss. For outside, now here is something, my incredible indigenous design winter coat made by my sister Jean. That's the outside of it, and this is the inside of it. Um, well, there's more on the outside, of course. And this is on the inside. Can you believe this? It is so beautiful. Um, my colorful scarf, my friend Shelly, and uh, my boots, my garage sale friends, Shirley and Darlene. And I stand in front of you with special things given to me to help me through my grief when Frankie died. Um, there is the, let me see, which one will I do first? Um, my polished grounding stone was the first one I got. My sister Nancy. And, whoops, my snowflake obsidian stones from my friend Darlene. And oddly enough, it says on here that, um, it just so happens right now with COVID, isolation becomes empowerment, aiding focus in meditation. Isolation becomes empowerment, please. And um, also my burned petrified wood, my friend Darlene. And as my friend Jan explained to me, petrified wood carries all the secrets, the everything from the past. Um, it carries the stories, the messages, everything from the past. It holds them, and I believe that. Uh, there's the Calming Rose Quartz Stone, my sister-in-law, Karen, and my tattoo, Frankie and Shailen. Uh, my tattoo is in Frankie's writing, and that's his signature, and that's uh, the four people within the family, and the three little grandchildren are little hearts, and that's his pet name for me, Mugs. And... A picture that my friend uh, Rosemary did that is it's such a joy to look at. So to top it off, my daughters and grandsons' voices and my son's voice 
always dress my heart in pure joy. So you see the number of things you can write regarding friends, family, children, memories, uh, and the many things you love. I'd love to hear or see what you write. So please take a look at these memories and um, think of your own. And just close your eyes again and think of the wonderful things in your life that you would like others to know about. So please go for it.